Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial on this reverse smoky eye. So if you wanna see how I got it, then please just keep on watching. So I've already done my foundation because nothing has really changed there. I just used my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 115. And then for concealer, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier. This is the secret conceal for under the eye. This is in the shade 1.5. So I'm literally just going to be applying that with my finger and then blending it out with my damp beauty sponge. Sometimes I like applying concealer that's pretty much the same colour as my foundation because not all the time I want to be highlighted. So sometimes it's kind of like a nice change to be not so highlighted and contoured. So I'm putting this under my eyes, chin, nose and forehead. That's kind of like the places I tend to go really quite oily. So I, like, I feel like I need coverage, if you know what I mean. And also I like to put it on my nose because I don't know why, but my makeup always tends to come off on my nose. So I like to just put a little bit extra on my nose area. So I'm now just dabbing that in with a damp, like this mini damp beauty sponge. So then to sit under my eyes, I'm literally just dipping my damp beauty sponge into my Laura Mercier secret brightening powder literally just a small amount and I'm going to be pressing that directly under my lower lash line because I want to kind of like set that straight away I don't want that creasing so I'm just going to press it until all of the powder has sort of disappeared into my skin so I'm not baking with this at all I just want it to set my under eye straight away so I don't get any of those creases. So then to add a little bit more warmth and a little bit more contour to my face, I'm gonna be using my Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel Cream Bronzer. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my brush and then sort of apply this to my cheek area. Not doing too much contouring, I'm more like trying to bronze my cheek area. And apply a bit to my forehead as well. So I'm actually just buffing that into my skin. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the same damp beauty sponge that I used to apply my foundation with, just to pounce it over the top. It sort of like gets rid of all the harsh lines and sets it back into the face, if that makes any sense. So then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Pressed Powder. For the brows, I'm going to be using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And first, I'm just going to take the spoolie end and brush through my brows just so I can get them kind of in the shape that I want them to be. And then obviously with the other end, I'm just gonna be um, filling them in, filling in all the gaps where I like, because my brows are like a little bit patchy. So I'm literally just filling those in. So because this look is going to be like a reversed smoky eye, I'm not really going to do a lot to my lid. I'm literally going to, just going to take my contour palette, which is the Makeup Revolution contour palette, and I'm going to take this middle shade, and I'm just going to buff that into the crease. So 
So I'm actually just going to pick up a pencil brush and pick up some more of that brown contour shade. And I'm literally just going to be applying this under my lower lash line. Just, just so it helps everything blend together. So I'm going to be taking this quite far down. So don't be too neat with this. So then just using the same brush, I'm going to be picking up this purple shade by MAC, it's in the shade Indian Ink, and I'm going to be buffing that under my lower lash line as well. So again, I'm going to be taking this down quite far. So then again, just taking the same pencil brush, I'm going to be picking up this blue eyeshadow by NYX. Um, I can't remember what the name is, so I'll leave it linked down below. And then again, I'm going to be applying that over the top of the purple. Then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and blend that together. I'm then just going to take a black eyeliner and smoke out my inner waterline. And then taking a black eyeshadow, I'm just going to take this one from my Maybelline The Nudes palette. I'm just going to be applying that directly under my lower lash line to help kind of like smoke it out and blend everything together. So for lashes, I'm going to be applying the Ardell Wispies. Before I apply those, I'm going to be applying a small amount of my Rimmel London Extra Super Lash Mascara. So while my lashes are drying, I'm going to be going back to my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and I'm going to be picking up this middle brown contour shade with my MAC 188 brush and I'm just going to be contouring it and warming up my face. Recently I've actually been loving applying my contour, like powder contour with this brush. I don't know why but it just applies so nicely and it just blends it out really evenly so if you ever have like trouble applying your contour or you just can't blend it out properly try one of these brushes seriously it's so good for blush I'm gonna be applying my MAC Fleur Power and I'm just gonna apply those to the apples of my cheek So I'm now just going to take some of my black gel eyeliner, this is by Maybelline and I'm literally just going to take it on a small precise liner brush and I'm just going to apply that to my upper lash line just to hide that lash band. For highlight, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sweets Go palette, obviously, um, and I'm going to be applying the shade Butterscotch to all the high points of my face. And then to finish off this look, I'm going to be applying my NYX Alien Liquid Suede Lipstick. So this is the finished result. I hope you guys all enjoyed my reverse smoky eye makeup tutorial. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and please don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I'll leave it linked down below.